Welcome to another episode of Real Talk. My name is Nicole Asinigo, and today I am at Sugarcane Restaurant, here to meet up with some people for some juicy, juicy gist. Trust me, you're going to want to watch this one. On today's episode, we have singer, songwriter, and musician, Adria Butter, actor, Uzo Arukwe, and Bolane Olukani, presenter. Hi guys. Hey. Hello. Hello. How's it going? So good. Good. I hope I haven't kept you guys waiting. No, no, it's fine. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So today we're going to be talking about money in relationships. Ooh. That's an awkward pill. Right. <laughs> Very sensitive. Like, yeah, like, in, and it's more, I think it's more sensitive in this part of the world. Yeah. Yeah. So how do you bring up money in relationships? Like, how soon is too soon to start talking about money? Okay, let me tell you guys something. Okay. So, which I think it varies, again, based (laughs) on, like, where you grew up in, where you're coming from. Okay. So, there was this guy, and my guy knows who he is, um, (laughs) who, like, I just kind of started dating and everything like that. And, you know, he come from a background where he just moved back from the States. And I remember we probably gone on, like, three or four dates, maybe, over a period of maybe, like, a month and a half. So, we're not going out every day do you understand? Mm-hmm. And this guy has like a nice job. Like he's, he's enjoying. He's enjoying <laughs> senior position. You know, he lives in a nice swanky place. Okay. All this stuff. So he says to me, this is after a third or fourth date, you know, that um I just wanted to mention that I would, when would we start splitting bills? Oh, you to, man, <laughs> and, and guy he, from the state. He wanted, to, he wanted to think, he wanted me okay. to start thinking about it. And American I remember, boys. I remember looking at him and being like, my guy, three dates already wow. so i think it varies from the context you come from and mm. he said to me he was like you know i don't think because i didn't really date anyone when i was in america in university yeah. so he was like you probably didn't date in university in america but mm. you know i'm coming from that background and i'm just looking at him I'm like yeah but we're in nigeria mm. do you think that nigeria our society kind of like puts the pressure on the man to pay well you know nigerians are driven we believe it is a male society male driven society mm. so there's some sort of pressure on the guy to always foot the bills. And being sincere and speaking for myself, somehow I actually grew up um, believing that if I'm going to take a girl out, I would have to foot the bills, yeah. regardless, you know. I, like that, you're teaching, right? Yeah, you know, like that's me because I'm not going to bring you out of your house and expect you to start paying. Mm. You know, if what, what I can do is tell you, okay, so. Uh, we know we know we'll go this place. This is where we'll go to. Yeah. Do you understand well, what, what, what if she invites you out? If, even if she does, I would actually offer to pay because of how I am brought yeah. up. Do you understand? Making cause fights. Yeah, yeah. do you understand? But you guys keep your swag up now. Okay, Just. what about if you're dating someone yeah. and you bring up the topic about money and the guy is just kind of like a bit shady with it? You know, you ask him, what do you actually do? And it's kind of like, I'm a businessman. What, what, what kind of business? Legos, uh, sh- shipping, <laughs> construction, importing. You know, importing. Like, importing oh. people's money. Oh, no, no. Oh, so, it's yeah. impossible. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. The, thing, the, the thing is that I always say, you know, people do business. People are smart businessmen. Mm-hmm. You're Thank multiple you. hustles that you're doing. But there's always a circumstance where your gut sometimes will tell you when someone is off, like Mm. something is off. I don't need you to know how much you earn, but if you cannot be open and honest with me about like, this is where this is coming from, this is where that's coming from, then it's a red flag for me. Yeah. And I think a lot of times, like a lot of people are dating people who are doing Yahoo on 419. Mm -hmm. First of all, a lot of people are doing Yahoo on 419, Mm -hmm. (laughs) you know, in this Lagos, that's the honest truth. Mm -hmm. So you can't tell. Also, I think personally with the way someone spends money. Mm. Do you understand? Like, mm. so, I think so. Because okay. I think when you work for your money, I don't think you will be as frivolous yeah. with it as the way Yahoo Boys 419ers tend to be. Mm-hmm. Um, if I ask you where your money is coming from, it's because of I feel uncomfortable about the way you spend money. Yes. Uh, Do you understand? So, sense. most likely, I'm not going to ask you, so, babe, you know, how did you get that brand new Escalade? <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> yeah. if, I've seen the hard work. I know where you got it from. Why would you even condone or be in a relationship with somebody who you cannot be open with in the first place? Mm. Whatever, whatever level of relationship, whether business or secular or platonic or whatever it is. Jonathan, because if I have a chick that I'm into and I'm doing Yahoo, quote unquote, I go tell her because it's supposed to be Bonnie mm. and Clyde. Try it. Mm. Would you support 
um, your boyfriend financially if he's lost his job and you know he's just a bit <coughs> he's just a bit you know, down. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he didn't just do that. She yeah? died on the phone. So, uh, so <laughs> through the good times and the bad times. Mm. Okay, honestly, I definitely believe and think I would. You know, like, but it also depends on like how long you've been dating for. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I think I would. Because yeah. I think that, you know, when you're in a relationship with someone, you're supposed to be with them for who they are, not mm. for what they can do for yeah. you. Of course, you want to make each other better. Exactly. But mm -hmm. at the same time, everything is about a season. And I think okay. whatever you practice in your boyfriend and girlfriend relationship is what's going to happen when you get married. Exactly. Mm. And like, there's this, even though we, we like to believe that the way we are, what we're doing right now in life is the way it's going to be, especially when it's a good time. Mm -hmm. The truth is, when you get married to anyone, there's going to be very dry seasons in mm -hmm. their lives. Mm -hmm. So if I can't do that now, yeah. then I most likely can't do it later. Would I okay. support? Yeah. If the guy is honest, and you as the girl, have you, you know that this guy is saying the truth, like he has a vision, he's a good man. Why not? Because, if, you know, I just, I'm, I'm just saying. Vision master. Who have vision? Who have vision? Nobody. As much as people are like, oh, yeah, girls say this all the time. Of course, everyone, nobody wants to date a guy who's like dead broke. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you don't want to date a guy who is like dead broke. But at the same time, there was one guy who I knew that he was going to quit his job at one point. Mm -hmm. And I was cool with it because I said, this boy, last class, he cannot suffer. Do you understand? Like, Bizarre, because yeah. of the, because of the person he is. Okay. He, is yeah. he will find a way. Yeah. And I knew he was going to find a way. Mm -hmm. So, like, I was cool with us being together. Like, Ooh. I was cool with mm -hmm. the experience of, I mean, it, it, he wasn't broke. He had a car. He lived in his own mm -hmm. house. But mm -hmm. he was going to quit his job, which meant that once he quit his job, mm -hmm. the be way yeah. he was spending yeah. money was yeah. going to change. Yeah. Do you understand? Course, yeah. So, I believe in vision. Okay. Mm. Hustle vision. Yeah. Mm. Like, who are you as a person? What about marriage? Mm. You as a woman, you want your kids to go to a particular kind of school. Mm. However, your husband cannot afford that school, right? You can afford it and you want to pay for it. But the husband is feeling emasculated mm -hmm. and he's like, no, well, my children will go to the kind of school that I can afford. Right. What okay. do you think? So here's the thing, right? I think if you remove the money conversation, I want my child to go to this school, and you want the child to go to this school. Now, is the school more expensive, or is it genuinely better? Mm -hmm. If it, the school, if we believe, both of us believe that the school is genuinely better, and we feel like we need to give our children the best education, and you can afford it, and we find a way, okay, maybe I'll pay you back later or something like that, then that can work. But if it's a P whereby, you just, I don't agree that this school is better. Which, if I don't have the money, I might not even, want to agree. <laughs> Do you understand? I mean, it was here. So unless we agree that 100% education of this child is going to turn out yeah. better from going to this place and then we can now move from there. I definitely think that, you know, you should agree on one school. But I also think, for me, it would be a case where dealing with the man's ego. Okay. I mean, maybe I can afford to pay for it because I've been saving up mm -hmm. for this specific school. Um, because I think education is very, very important. Mm -hmm. Because also you have to think about it that people don't just send their kids to good schools for education. You send your kids to a good school because of relationships that are built there. Whatever the, the situation is, the two parties have to decide. Like the Bible says one would chase a thousand, two would chase ten thousand, right? So this is what I'm, this is my own choice. I'm going to say this school costs maybe hundred naira, mm -hmm. all right? Now, if you want our child to go to this school, if you're willing to contribute to him going to that school that's that i'm she trying to that. pay for it you know I, but I'm, I'm not gonna allow her take the burden of paying for the thing absolutely or totally i'm okay. going to say this is the school i this is the budget i have for school mm -hmm. take it whatever you, it is that if this is the school that you've decided to go to or one had to have to go to it. you can add to it but that's, let's talk about women making more money in the relationship yeah you're a troublemaker <laughs> so um how would you deal with that? Well, now, this is the thing. <sighs> Let me drink some of this. <laughs> <laughs> There's a thing where, like, I, I, and I still don't understand this properly, but if a woman has more money than me mm -hmm. and is obvious yeah. before I start talking to her, I don't think that she's, she should, I, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, will you give a guy that is obvious that has more money than you a chance? Like, if a guy that. 
Like you, obviously, you have more money than you give him a chance. Yeah, so you don't like, mind dating a guy that doesn't have as much money as you. Of course. No, like, but then, vision. Yeah. It depends on yeah. who you are. And it depends on where you are, there. too. Because mm-hmm. if I have no money, and then the guy yeah, has, has less than less no money, than no money <laughs> then we have to have a conversation. Right. But if I'm, like, successful, you right. know, and then the guy is just, like, up and coming and has this hustle, vision, and stuff, then... Possibly. So that means that in the long run, you do want him to have more money than Of you. course. Yes. So, yes. okay. Let's establish that first. Because there's some yes. people yeah, yeah. that they don't, even in the future, they don't mind being richer than their husbands no, or whoever that. that, you know, you unless, don't like Unless I'm open. That's not an ideal situation for you. Don't even like, want it. No, I don't want it because let me tell you the reason why I don't want it. I don't want it not because I can't handle it. I don't want it because he can't, he can't handle, handle it. it. The ego. Mm-mm, the don't, ego. Don't, don't, that's it's with it. Yeah, yeah, wait, let's remove him first. Remove the him, please. Let's up the him. The two him are quiet. I definitely, definitely, definitely want the person to make more money than me yeah. because of the society we live in. Mm. Even if we're cool with it, mm-hmm. the society we live in, you're not cool with it. Yeah. I know situations, couples, where just because the wife is making more money, they go to dinner, the wife would have given him, the guy, her card earlier yes. Yes. to make sure that she doesn't pay in front of people. Because in Nigeria, people say, mm-hmm. is he a man? Mm-hmm. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. let's cut out. I always say in relationships, cut out all the yes. extra drama. Mm-hmm. Whatever we can nip in the bud, let's nip in the bud because relationships are hard. See, I think like be. inside your own, if like depending on who you're with, that's the most important thing. Like, mm-hmm. if I'm with someone and she has more money than me, and like we have a very good understanding and good vibe, and it's not an issue, mm-hmm. then that's what that relationship is, and that's what that situation is. Between both of us, we already know that she has more money, so. But I'm going to go out and someone's going to say something and I'm going to be angry. Mm. Why? Because I already know the situation mm. and she knows as well. What about debt? So like you're dating someone and, oh, you know, you guys are getting married or you guys are married and mm. then you realize that the person is in debt. Do you disclose mm. that you're in debt? To me, like, if you don't tell me that you owe X, Y, and Z amount, I will feel betrayed. Because the honest truth is, I'm the kind of person when I, if I get married, not if, when, when? I get married, mm-hmm. um, <laughs> Maybe 2018, my brain is changing. Um, I do believe that our money is one. Mm-hmm. To the point when I say your money is one, everybody should know how much everyone's making. Like I can't be married to someone I don't know how much they're making. Exactly. I can't be married to someone I could not be able to disclose how much I'm making. Do you understand? Like I just I don't do I'm not gonna get married and have a secretive relationship and why am I getting married? Like why are we still playing with games like my boyfriend and girlfriend? Oh, what about it? joint bank accounts? <laughs> The, look, uh, personally, I, I don't, I don't like joint bank accounts. I'm okay. speaking for myself because no, it's not I, I want. I, I, <laughs> 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 look, we can have a particular joint account for particular uh, things, maybe school fees or whatever it is. Because when you have a joint account, sometimes there is too much uh, at stake. Good to me. Yeah, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I'd rather that you're, you're your own person, I'll be my own person. But for these projects or these things that we are doing, mm-hmm. this is where all the funds mm-hmm. are. But I'm not saying that because I have an account, I'm going to hide my account from you. You know how much I'm earning. Mm-hmm. You know how much gets into the house. But it doesn't mean that when I want to give my mother money or give my brother money, I have to tell you that, oh, I have to take money mm-hmm. from the joint account. No. I feel like having a joint bank account is a good idea. Why? Because... I feel like it's like a like a fun portfolio. Like you have this place where you go to do things. However, I also believe that you should have your own accounts. Now let me explain. Mm. The joint bank account for me is like where the money comes into. Right. And then I have my budget that I spend in the month. So we decided to take real talk to the streets. I can't open an account with my wife. No. I'm not trust women. I'm any more money as my husband. Of course, he knows how much I earn, and I should also know how much he earns. At the end of the month, we, we both agree, understand, and say, okay, this is how we are going to do the money. We now say, okay, we use this for this, we use this for this. It's just about understanding. Ah, uh, it gets up now, this. Immediately, they just say, I love you. You turn to it here. <laughs> they say, bring this, bring it back. The most of us start from the charge card. <laughs> so, uh, immediately, you talk to a girl now. Money is involved immediately. Knowing fully whether your woman earns more than you is intimidating. But if she doesn't brag about it, I don't affect her attitude towards you as a man and still exhibit her obedience and submissiveness towards, towards you as a man. It's normal. Would a woman who is successful making her money be more attractive to you than a woman who is kind of 
Oh, yes. Yes. Would you oh, do yeah. one a boss oh, yes. lady like that? What's could, that? Oh yeah. A boss lady is somebody who is making her own no, money. No, I just want the definition. <laughs> a boss lady is someone oh, who is making Christ. her own money. Sorry. Somebody who you know is successful. You yeah. know, she doesn't have a man. You know, when you meet her, but she's still like paying her bills. She's going on holiday. Like she has her stuff together. Mm, yeah, I think I'll definitely hundred well. No, let me put this guy correct here. Yeah, for once, let me just say, I think I would prefer someone that has their stuff together just yeah. because you have your stuff together and yeah. you have a clear vision of your life. I also look at other things like, you know, your character. Like, mm -hmm. are you genuinely a good person? Mm. Like, you... Because some people are just have bad vibes. I don't like yeah. that. Yeah. I like yeah. good vibes. You know, yeah. Those, yeah. those are other things to consider as opposed to let's say have a job. Mm. So if you have a job today, God forbid, you lose it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Anything can so be Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And sometimes the person might even need you to inspire them to find the cause. Yeah. True. Yeah. yeah. True. That makes sense. Well, for me, I, I mean, I always, I mean, a, a woman, a working woman is always more attractive to me. Mm. What about borrowing money, lending money, mm. right? So your boyfriend borrows money from mm. you and he doesn't pay you back. I had this happen to me. Mm. <laughs> you have a lot of stories. Girl, I'm crazy nigga. I you started as such a Finnish America. I mean, <laughs> you came there to start. Just that, I haven't practiced it, no, we just started slapping it. <laughs> no, um, you know, this has happened to me and it was crazy because I had to let it go because I was literally going to beat him if I didn't. Ah, no, I'm just joking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so, and I think when you're in, in love, mm -hmm. and I say that with quotes, um, you do whatever you have to do for the yeah. person, right? And you're willing to just so literally sweet. like <laughs> give them what you want or give them what they need. And it was something very basic, like I think uh, I, pl I paid for a plane ticket. Oh my God, now he's definitely going to know talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> How busy, that's not that hard. So Next time he'll pay back. Um, you know, mm -hmm. and I remember doing it because I wanted to see him and he wasn't in town or something like that. And he was supposed to pay it back to me, and he did it. Mm -hmm. And I remember he paid for something else that was important to what I thought was so disrespectful mm. for him to do that. And and did you bring it up? I, I didn't, you know, I think also there was- You brought it up today on a TV show. <laughs> I did, I definitely mean, now, you know, and I think that's, he probably doesn't know that's partially why the reason. Because for me, it showed character. It showed mm. that you don't have, you don't keep your word. Like, you kept saying, you'll pay me back, you'll pay me back, but you never pay me back to the point where I had to just be like, Forget yeah, about it. Yeah. Like, I actually forgot yeah. like, yeah. I don't borrow money for a liability. I can't borrow money for an for investment. For investment. But then okay. that one, you understand it. And again, if it's an investment that pans out, I will pay back. If it doesn't, then I will obviously try very hard to cover up. I think I would feel closer to him that he would ask me for that. Because yeah. I know how hard it is for a man yeah, yeah. to ask for money. Exactly. That's very nice. And that's, it's that's, true, that's, but it's that's also, it. and it also allows you to show how the person handles paying money back so you can know about the character. Exactly. exactly. You see, and that, that's, 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 the thing, the thing is, that's the part oh, I'm, I'm afraid of. Well, thank you guys so much. Yeah. This is really interesting. Do you guys have any last words on money, relationships? Any last words? Don't buy plane tickets. <laughs> ah, wow. I see. What are you going to get? The dust <laughs> I think the, the whole money thing in relationships is is also tied to how we see, like, as for guys, how we see women. Do you see her as your equal? Yeah. You know, that's just my. For me, I'll just say, man, um, a relationship is supposed to be between two givers. You know, if it's between two givers, people who are willing to give, mm. you know, um, I think you guys are fine. But if one party, whether the man or the woman, is a taker and not a giver, then mm. there will be problems. Yes. You know, for me, that's, that's, that's what it is. That's, Can I get an amen? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to join our conversation, please drop a comment in the comment section below. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, Indani TV, and please follow us on all social media platforms at Indani TV. Thanks for watching. Thank <music> you.